eh, pues, bueno, yo decía que estoy muy contenta, muy honrada y muy orgullosa de que México pueda presentar aquí en Emiratos Árabes parte de su historia, parte de su cultura con estas piezas que vienen a integrarse al museo aquí y, y desde luego pues cada una representa alguna de nuestras civilizaciones como la Olmeca, la Maya o la Teotihuacana en estas piezas que pues eh, eh, ha sido un reto traerlas hasta acá pero que eh, eh, realmente eh, um, son muestra del interés que tiene México de mostrar su historia, de mostrar su cultura al pueblo emiratí y que esperamos que esto no sea la, prim la última vez que nosotros podemos traer un pedacito de México aquí a, a Abu Dhabi. I think we need to underline that this is an historical moment in the collaboration between institutions, between the INA and Mexico, uh, the, the Louvre Abu Dhabi, in Abu Dhabi. It is a um, fantastic uh, work between two countries and between two reserves. Let's say. What we have is actually five incredible artifacts coming from Mexico. We have just behind me the Olmec Pairs. So this is a source of wood of all what we know about the cultures in Mexico, and we have um, more artworks, we have four more that have been integrated with the galleries, from Teotihuacan, from Ovaya, so we have a, um, in, in five objects, we offer to people a capacity to discover the highest element of all the components of the Mexican uh, cultural identity. It's, uh, first it's a, in the museum world, um, uh, It, it's about trust, it's about working together, and this is what we have done. We have been working with our, our Mexican counterparts, with our friends, for three years to, to decide how to work, to decide what would make sense, to decide which pieces, and then, of course, to make sure that we could uh, transport them, install them in the best way, also uh, to prepare a further collaboration, because it's just the first step. Uh, we're showing these artworks in Abu Dhabi, but of course, we will also uh, keep on working with that uh, So, uh, no difficulties, but a lot of work, necessary work, to make sure we are at the highest international standards. Lour Abu Dhabi is the first universal reserve in the Arab world. This is gigantic. This means that here, in the capital city of the Union, people living here or visiting here, Emirati, or people calling uh, Abu Dhabi warm or UAE warm, have access to the cultures of the world. So this is just another fantastic and important step in uh, offering this access. Why well, is it people, uh, from the children to the visitors, I mean, all of us have the capacity to go uh, even uh, before, even uh, uh, beyond. And yes, we will have all our, so we have a talk, we have a, uh, the first set of talk is actually this afternoon, we will have uh, our guys, we will have the audio guys, so from digital to human relationship, The full museum is doing to talk to you in your language, in Arabic, in English, in French, and, and in other languages that you speak here, will make sure that everyone can get a fantastic understanding of the Mexican culture. And again, it is not only Maya, it's also uh, Teotihuacan, it's also Olmec, so it's also the complexity of this incredibly rich uh, 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 layers of culture. As a universal museum, we talk about all civilizations and all kinds of time. So it's very important to have the world coming to Abu Dhabi to tell the story. So of course, we have the Middle East, we have the Arab world, we have the Sarika, but it is absolutely key to, to have uh, Africa, to have Asia, and to have uh, Latin America and our Mexican and Central America. So we meet, meet, with these talks, we are able to Um, invite this culture, which are actually geographic and from, from there, but which are also part of the story of the world. So it's really this echo. This head is so impressive that we have put it uh, at the entrance as a strong statement. It's almost abstract. It's an object that in, uh, you know, a few uh, millennium uh, ago. But um, the other artworks are completely intertwined in terms of discussions between civilizations that are organizing in the galleries. So you see them, you see Teotihuacan, and the moment of other things are happening in, uh, in this part of the world, in, uh, in Asia, uh, in the West. So 
It's all about connection. And this is what I invite uh, all the uh, all the auditors to do, is to come and see, because you need to see it with your eyes. Seven, uh, <laughs> seven years is a, is a moment of, uh, of maturity. Uh, we are still a young museum, even part of a new museum. You know, we have demonstrated uh, our strengths, I would say. There are more than uh, 5.5 million visitors, despite COVID, that we got since our opening and uh, 1.2 million visitors per year, that was a uh, figure uh, last year. So I think we have solved this energy that is coming here. And we also now, uh, we have uh, new labels with uh, the uh, Natural History Museum, the Zaya National Museum, with the Google and Abu Dhabi, of course, closer to us uh, in times, seeing that phenomenon. So what can we expect inside Blue Abu Dhabi for them? We will continue to offer access to the See, today, we are giving a fantastic archive to the Mexican authors. In October, we will have the most impressionism with the masterpieces of uh, the artistic revolution that was impressionism and how it uh, 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 unfolded in, in, in several directions. We will have a, a masterpiece of Islamic art coming from the Louvre in Paris, uh, the pieces of Landanga, which is incredible, really exquisite object. And in uh, January, we will have an exhibition, the first also exhibition of the, of the region, or Kings and Queens of Africa. And it's going to be, um, I said, also a very important milestone of discovery of another world, which is another beauty of the world of uh, Africa. So you see, just in the one season, you would be able to talk to the uh, Islamic identity with one of the finest of uh, We would be able to uh, discover with the uh, art here, the creativity of the region, artists from the GCC of North Africa. You will have food exhibition in Africa and, uh, and of course, uh, our Mexican friends. So come and come back to Mwambadini.